Hi there, Patrick here with Paul Component Engineering. I'm here today to talk to you about our new machine. This is a Doosan Lynx 2100 SLYB. The B is apparently silent, but it is there. Uh, what this machine will do is many things. Some of you may notice, perhaps if he zooms out, that there used to be more machines down here. We actually got rid of three machines, two lathes and a mill, to get this one machine. This one machine is more expensive, but it has two spindles. It has live tools on the turret. It's technically a lathe with milling. It's a mill turn or a mill lathe, lathe mill. So anyhow, what it used, what, how we used to do it, we might spit something off the lathe and it would go, go onto a uh, shelf, whip, work in progress, sit there, to get the mill ops done, so it would take two steps, two setups, and handling in between. What we can do here, you probably just heard, uh, that was actually a new bar getting loaded into the machine. Uh, we can put a bar into the bar feeder, and then this thing will spit parts out with milling features. You can probably hear that, that's one of the milling spindles on the turret. So what used to take two machines now can be done in one machine, and it just simplifies the process as well as speeds it up. I mean, it's just one, one and done. So what's a lathe? What's a mill? In a lathe, the workpiece turns and the tool is stationary. Workpiece being, you know, solid bar stock. Uh, so think of something like a, a hub or a skewer or a gino is round. So generally parts that are round are made on a lathe. So this is spinning, the workpiece, the metal here. And then a tool comes in and uh, removes material as it turns into it. In a mill, this tool is spinning and the workpiece is stationary, usually fixed in a vise. Tool comes down and say does the Paul engraving on it. This machine has both of those capabilities in one. So we can put the bar of material into the machine and then this can get all the round bits, the lathe portions done and then it can come in and engrave the name of Mr. Paul onto the Gino. And then it can come over and catch it. And then it comes out on this little parts catcher conveyor belt. And it makes parts like that without anybody really doing anything. So it's kind of like a robot, sort of, but prettier. <laughs> So Paul made this handy dandy four foot bar card, as you may have noticed, that is a fairly short bar feeder if you're familiar with bar feeders. Uh, our other bar feeder is 12 foot, bars generally come in 12 feet lengths, so a 12 foot bar feeder is quite handy, uh, but for space and uh, for multiple bars, we went with a four footer so we can stack up many, many bars. So it has a bar magazine instead of just a tube. So this is the back of the bar feeder. And this has a magazine where you put bars and you can stack up as many as you can fit, which probably would be like 40. And then in theory, we all go home at night and this thing is gonna make us, you, parts. So it is right now loading a bar, which is a somewhat uncommon experience because it only happens every X amount of hours. Uh, and it just caught the remnant in the parts catcher. Now it's starting over and making more parts. And uh, I'm just standing here. I mean, it took, it took a long time to get to this point, but that's why this is really cool. Do you feel my excitement through your screen? So as you may see or have seen the bar getting loaded, so this thing will take the bar, shove it in the spindle, and then the remnant gets caught by the parts catcher, and then that comes out on a little conveyor belt, which is right over here. So here's the machine, and over here is where the parts come out. 
So I just changed the bar so the remnant, the end of the bar that we didn't get to use, comes out here and then all these parts, I mean, I just checked them so there's only a few, but these are uh, clamper piston parts which uh, go inside of the clamper, but if you look on the inside of your clamper, this is actually that part. So this can actually go in here like that. And this one doesn't spin, whereas the actuator piston is the one that does spin. So this one will go in here, and of course there'd be ball bearings and some other stuff in there. And then the arm goes on here, and then, you know, cl clampy clamper. So, let's take a tour of the inside of this thing. So this is a lathe, it's got two spindles. This thing spins and this thing spins. So this is the four foot bar, this is our raw bar stock and the bar feeder is behind us. This is our sub spindle, which is currently locked that has disc brakes on the spindles for milling. Anyway, this does spin. Uh, and there's actually a finished part in the spindle right now. And I have two foot chucks. So there you go. There's a little ejector in here that'll spit this out into the parts catcher, which uh, I can show you if you so desire. But what makes this lathe a little more interesting is it has a Y axis. Most lathes are two axis, so they have Z and then X. Whereas this one has Z and has two Z's because it has a sub spindle, which is called the B. So that's the B axis. And then C is about B and Z. And then Y kind of comes out at you. And I don't know if this one has a, it does have the picture on the side over here. But anyway, the, uh, so you can do milling because the mill is usually three axis or, or more these days, but you know, XYZ, Cartesian, Cartesian coordinate plane that we may or may not have learned about in uh, sometime in school. If you did that, if not, it's cool, whatever. Um, so this has why. Why, do you ask? Why allows me to mill cool features like these uh, indents or these. Granted, I could have done it with a C also. Uh, but with the Y, it's a little more precise and uh, makes a little nicer finish. In conclusion, these things aren't cheap and they have a little bit of a learning curve, but uh, it's a very powerful machine and uh, it's going to help us get parts out quicker. A uh, little bit of a lag, but we're, we're, we're spitting them out now. So uh, it's also why the Melvin came back is because of this thing. We were able to mill the teeth out of the jockey wheel. So uh, all in all, we're gonna get caught up. We're gonna we're gonna get bike parts out to you and happy Sparkle Moonbeam to you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>